Thanks for watching this Fetch's Google summary. For us, this is probably one of the most exciting uh, functions of Google Webmasters because what it means is you can index your own website pretty much instantly, actually instantly, so you don't have to wait for it to be crawled. You can just go straight into it, submit a link, and then all will be uh, looked after by Google. So if we go to our current page right now, which is, if you just excuse me, which is this one here, it's called Google Webmaster and Masterclass. So that's the page I'm working on, which has all the information for the uh, well, for the online tutorials. I haven't indexed that yet, but I thought, well, well, let's do it now as an example. So if I go back to our Google Webmaster Tools functionality, so what I do here is I take the last extension, which I just get from uh, the, the, this part here. So I just take that and copy paste and then I submit that. Now what I do here is I, there's many options. The most common options here are the mobile smartphone, uh, one mobile desktop. For some reason Google require, well, it doesn't require but it gives you the option of submitting it to two different sort of uh, search indexes. Uh, my advice is to first submit it to desktop and then also do the smartphone. Uh, this uh, chtml I don't really sort of deal with that, but you can do it if you want. If you've got the quota of of uh, submissions, which will be shown in a second. So if we click here, we go fetch and render. What this is, it should say partial. If you just bear w with it for a second, and yep, it says partial, and then submit uh, submit to index. And then you have to do a little survey tool. No, it's already, okay, it's picked it up. And then what, so what you've got the option here is you can crawl the URL or you can crawl the URL and it's direct links. So you get 10 of those per month. Now because it's, well, because it's uh, the end of August, then I'm going to start, I'm gonna start using up these. I'm surprised I haven't used them up already. Um, and what this says is basically any link which you have indexed out to so a citation that will be indexed as well. So and possibly that is because if you've got sort of back indexes, i.e., you've indexed to somebody, or so you've referenced to somebody or linked to somebody who's linking you, then they'll link that page. But at most times you've just linked out to somebody who you're citing or you're as a citation as as it would be, or you're just quoting somebody else, or just you know, it's just a useful link. So we're going to do this for now because we have a few videos on this website which I want to be indexed. So what we do is we push go. Now that's it. So if we choose, and the next one is if we do smartphone, we punch the punch the punch the same thing in. We go fetch. Then that should say complete. Yes. So if you're only doing if you're only fetching and not doing fetch and render then it says it says complete but if you're doing the rendering i.e if you're having the if you're having the citations and the links are through through the index then it it says partial uh, it's, that, 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 that's probably all you need to know there so if we click on I'm not a robot and then you just click on crawl this crawl this in its URL that's fine. So what we can see here now, so previously, you know, we didn't have it actually indexed. Now, if we go to that, if we just go, I'll show you here, I've just put the speech bubbles around, you can see there, around the thing. Would it work? Yes. So it's just showed up there. If I'd done that two minutes ago, it wouldn't have worked. So actually I probably should have done that. But anyway, you can see it there. So you can index it. You can basically index anything you want and it'll show up in Google straight away. So if I do this as a, let me just test this. If I just search this phrase, well, yes, so it shows up. So it is going to, it's gonna pick up your content and it's gonna pick up your links as well. So that's all it is for, if I go back to the page now. So that's all it is there. It's just got a whole big list of everything which you've ever indexed and it says the date where you indexed it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So fetches Google. 
It's a very useful tool for making sure that your latest information is updated. Have you ever wondered why news sites, for example, are suddenly in the news in Google, even though, you know, possibly one third or one quarter of the whole website gets indexed every day? But it's because they submit to this. That, well, that and, the, and they're also cited as a news organization, which sort of requires its own Google affiliate sort of a relationship and standards. But overall, there's a lot of these indexes going on like manually all the time. So Fetch's Google is a very useful tool for making sure that your latest content is up there and, and, that, and that you're not waiting around for Google, uh, that you're not waiting around for Google to find it. So thanks for watching. Uh, this has been a very uh, useful tutorial, I hope. And please comment down below if you have any questions. The next, um, so the next tutorial we're going to look at is going to be the Robots TXT tester with sitemaps and URL parameters. Uh, and that's basically going to conclude the Google Webmaster Tools tutorial series. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you at the next tutorial.